ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths, Weird and Wonderful. And welcome indeed to the belly of the beast. It's warm and cozy in here. And the beast in question is none other than Bubbles the Devourer. And so this is a absolutely wonderful uh, workshop item uh, by Ragtime Cabooses? Wait a minute, did I pronounce that right? Nope, rag... <laughs> Ragtime caboose. I misspelled that. Why the hell... Why the hell did I uh, pronounce that wrong? Uh, damn my notes. Damn you, passport wise. But anyway, so this is a gigantic, uh, terrifying cuttlefish because I have no way of proving this, uh, but uh, I suspect somebody that Ragtime caboose uh, saw the giant squid um, that... Uh, that um, uh, I reviewed on Weird and Wonderful ages ago. I have no idea if they watched the video or not. And then decided, yeah, let's up the ante a little bit. So I love this thing. This is fantastic. So it's weird because, well, it's a giant replica lethal cuttle cuttlefish. And before I do anything else, I just want to read out the lore that has been written for this. So just enjoy, enjoy this beast bobbing up and down for a second as I read out the lore to you, because it's wonderful. Uh, firstly, warning very large, do not use if your PC is a potato. Thankfully, mine is not a potato, it is a kumara, which is a sweet potato. Bubbles, hunger of the depths, eater of marauders, and the bane of bastions. These massive relatives to the cuttlefish find their homes stalk in the seas below the dread fog. They're quite well known amongst the white flayers who call the lumbering beast the devourers. The flayers occasionally use them as an execution method for the most despicable of condemned heretics. Uh, that's spelt wrong, by the way, heretics. They fly to the edge of the dread fog in search of their massive looming presence in the sea below. Once one is spotted, the flayers cast the condemned into the sea with nothing but a lifeboat and an oar, so they may fruitlessly attempt to flee the death that awaits them. Although they pose a, they pose a serious threat to slow lumbering ships, they are not hunted by the flayers, as many amongst them even worship these massive beasts as titan descendants of the flayed god. Contrary to the belief of the flayers, Grey Talon manuscripts record that the first sighting of one of these leviathans was about 155 years after the beginning of the Age of Ascension. This so happens to be just over a decade after a bio-research airship from the tribe of the Crystal Keepers was sabotaged, and it plunged into the dread fog, never to be seen again. Surviving records show the lab contained a very large juvenile cuttlefish affectively, affectionately named Bubbles. It's from this that the children of the Grey Talons, upon looking down, seeing their massive profiles through the fog, giggle and say, Look, there goes Bubbles. The Talons, being an airborne society, cares not to dispatch these lumbering giants, as they cannot attack their airships, as well as also serving as a natural hazard for any surface vessels that dare try to sneak through the airship patrols and under the cover of the dread fog. The most dramatic of sightings was from the Deepwater Guard, when one was spotted approaching Fishbone Island. As the inhabitants of the island panicked in fear, they pleaded to the pirate lords for help. Captain Jacob, seeing an, an opportunity for great fame and renown, took his flat flagship Jacob's Treehouse in his prize Jacob's Delight, and promised to defend the island from the monster. Within minutes of sighting the beast, Jacob's Delight was sucked into the maw of the monster and his tentacles crushed it to matchsticks in mere seconds. Jacob quickly turned away and fled for shore, hoping only to save his ship from the same grisly fate. Grizzly spelled it wrong. Uh, upon their approach to shore, Captain Jacob noticed that the beast had been satisfied and had begun returning back towards the north. When he came ashore, he was applauded and a great roar of cheers came from those whom he swore to defend. Although for him, this victory was bittersweet. For this, his love delight was a sacrifice he was not willing to make. And that's why the Jacob's Delight is not a ship that you will encounter in Nita anymore. They have an enormous diet, enormous is spelled wrong, of which ships are definitely on the menu. Although seldom seen, sightings of them as far as the Cauldron of Eriwick have been reported. They've also, they're also known to be bottom feeders, consuming material from resource-rich resource parts of the ocean floor. When one strays too close to a facility, that's spelled wrong, of the white flares, they often use convicts and motor dinghies to lure the beasts back to the north and away from High Lorem. Although they sometimes need to be coaxed away with bait, they always seem to return to the Dreadfog in the autumn for what many believe to be their mating season. 
There they raise their young, mostly free of the harassment of trophy hunters and Onyx Watch whalers, and under the protection of the Grey Talons above. And then it's uh, build info. So, there's a number of wonderfully wacky things about this. The first one I want to talk about is that the eyes blink. Is there any reason for them to blink? No, but it's awesome. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. I love that. I love that. That's so nice. It makes this thing feel alive. And it's got uh, terrifying mouth parts, which honestly isn't that far off from um, the face of a real cuttlefish or squid. Lots of drills, uh, just simple drills. It's actually kind of impressive how they're, you know, they've used um, simple drills in this way. And uh, yeah, the horrifying mouth parts. And one of my favorite things about this is that you can go all the way in here and you go down into the gullet and there's a lot of whoops. There's uh, you go twisty twisty and down we go and here we are in the stomach. And one of the absolute favorite things about this that I love is that uh, because this thing sits just on the surface of the water, this is where the waterline naturally is. And it has debris floating in there, and it's got that little corpse bobbing up and down. And it's just... Just fantastic. And it's like... How did the water... How has the water stayed there? <gasps> I know what it is! I think that's a decoration, just a really big one. Oh, that's genius! It's even more genius than I thought. But, um... Yeah, so you've got water bobbing up and down in here. Whoop, there's the actual water. And uh, you've got the wreckage of what looks like a marauder. And you've got this uh, thing right here, the little raft. I just love this so much. Just the the fact that uh, this, little, this little raft thing, all that's left is... Uh, it's on a little spin block. There's a spin block uh, just camouflaged right here where, with, um, with decoration. And it's just in here. It's just so... This is so awesome. I really... Like, you know, this is next level. That's just having something just bob up there. You could make a swimming pool. Like, for any of you who are aesthetic nuts, this, like, slightly less grisly idea, or in, like, uh, implementation of this, is just have a swimming pool on the deck of a cruise liner or something, and you can use this kind of uh, spin block trick in order to, like, just get, I don't know, like a pool noodle floating. Or someone who clearly partied too hard and has drowned. Uh, but that's not all the, there is. Um, uh, interesting thing with this is that um, uh, the actual, I guess the actual uh, main body of this, uh, this is actually the main vehicle, the heart of the Leviathan right here. And um, yeah, the brain of the Leviathan and all that, because this is completely separate vehicle. So this is the main... I guess the main vehicle right here, I think? Um, that, uh, yeah, so this is the main vehicle. It's covered in repair tentacles. This thing is filled with uh, uh, repair bots, uh, by the way. And lots of little props here, there, and everywhere. So it repairs very, very quickly. This is not a meta build, I should hasten to say. Like, you could probably could guess that. Uh, but it's just... It's just fun. It's just fun to just spawn something uh, in front of this. And then just have it freaking I think actually hold on I never checked uh, which way that is the front so if you spawn oh I don't know uh, Marauder actually gets AI deaded immediately by the EMP harpoons that this thing has but oh I don't know if you have uh, something slightly different uh, what's a good thing to chuck into the more of this let's uh, chuck in a Grendel see if that works so I'm gonna turn off repair tentacles and that mortar ain't gonna do jack, and it's got little uh, suction thingies right here. I wonder if this is going to AI dead it immediately. It didn't. And then the tentacles open uh, when the time is right, and it's just gonna pull this guy in and go num 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 num. Oh, this is fantastic. And note the eyes track, the eyeballs move. I love that. I love that so much. And when it gets in, num 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 yummy 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 ship. Yummy 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 yummy. I've got Onyx Watch in my tummy and I feel like nothing else. And this is very laggy 
as you might expect, because it's got non-stop collision. And so yeah, even though this isn't a meta build, there are some pretty sweet ideas in here, and I feel inspired to do something similar like this, probably a lot smaller. Um, maybe something that's uh, propelled by steam jets, and uh, can both fly and go underwater, fires harpoons, and uh, can just latch onto things and either pull it towards it, and or um, pull itself towards the target, and then just latch onto it and go num 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 with delicious drills or rams or something like that. And uh, yeah, this uh, Onyx Watch ship has been duly eaten, and it's hilarious. And um, this th it's this uh, craft struggles with larger things, so I tested it against the crossbones, and the crossbones is too big uh, to be pulled uh, into the maw, and um, so yeah, it's uh, it's really like it'll eat smaller ships, uh, but not particularly bigger ones. So one hilarious thing to do is to send uh, white flare suicide craft at it because that is just the funnest. Uh, because well, this happens. Who will win? Uh, not the buzzsaw because uh, the buzzsaw is uh, outdated a little bit. Oh, she's hesitant. Oh, bubbles. Yeah, so uh, in case anyone's wondering, uh, spin block rams are not as effective as they used to be. Um, they got issues. Uh, but these drills have been buffed considerably. Oh, yes. Yum, 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 yum. Delicious white flare stuff. And this is why you don't hunt giant cuttlefish. Oh, look at the eye in the background there. That's so fun. We. This is very laggy. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. Oh, this is great. This game is fantastic. Precisely because you can do stuff like this. This is art. This is art. I dare you to say this isn't art. Oh, Ragtime Caboose, you have given us such a gift this day. Such a gift. Uh, I think this guy's stuck. Like, I couldn't even find where the ACBs are in this thing to trigger all this stuff. Actually, I'll look for them right now. Let's go find the shenanigans that, uh, that power this thing. I'm not sure where they are. And uh, that looks like nothing over there. I don't think... Let's see here. Don't really see anything. It's got a little bit of ammo storage back there. Don't really see much. Don't really see much of anything, really. How does this thing work? Aha! Here we go. This, uh... This looks like it. So, there's a pitch. There's a breadboard. Aha! Delicious bread. That explains it. And then... Set pistons for... Where the hell are the pistons? AI mainframe... Wait, there's pistons. Where are the... What pistons? There's pistons? Aha! Uh, nope. Wrong. Let's see. Where's that? Oh, Kraken's teeth. Wait a minute. Does this? Hang on. Let's see something. Let's uh, shove in a buzzsaw again. Isn't this funky? Now what do the pistons do is what I want to know. Wait, is there no other reason for this other than to look cool? Oh, that is, because they're constantly pulsing. Oh my god. Num 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 num. Okay, let's flatten one more vehicle type. And then that's pretty much it for this most wanted, because honestly... We could do this all day. Alright, so one particular fun thing is for this to eat submarines. Stuff like that. Let's, uh, or, or not. Let's, uh, let's see. What's, what's a fun thing? Let's spawn in a green field. Uh, yeah. Actually, let's go. Where's the Jacob's Treehouse? Jacob's Scorn. 
Oh no, the Jacob Scorn is hilarious because it just it literally charges straight into this thing's mouth, which is the absolute bloody best. Come on. Although you're not going to do it. Come on. You know you want to. We uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's bad. And the spin blocks do nothing. The Jacobs, actually, that is a cunning means of uh, doing the... Oh, wow. That's fail ram right there. What the hell happened? Well, looks like it wasn't the rams that made first contact. Yeah, try and ram a giant cuttlefish, why don't you? Uh, <laughs> let's see how that goes for you. Anyway, that'll do for this uh, weird and wonderful. You get the idea. This is... I encourage you to download this vehicle and have a have a peek at it for yourself. Because this is magnificent. The blinking eyes, that's so good. That's so good. What is that? Why'd my phone do stuff? What the hell is this? Wait, no, let's do this instead. There's got to be some kind of spin blocky thing in here. It's on a turret. Yep. Eye of the Deep. Yep, so the spin blocks in there. Anyway, that'll do for this mo uh, most wanted. This, um, win wonderful. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and thank you to Ragtime Caboose for making this wonderful craft which can bring us all so much joy by eating ships. Farewell!